Oh. Hello. What is happening, Ash? How the heck are you? You know, that's a great question. I sometimes I don't know the answer to that. Today, I'm going to say I'm great. I feel like every single day in quarantine, I'm like a different human being. Some days I'm like, oh, I'm feeling good, spicy. And then other days I'm like, whoa, tough. It's a, ro it's a roller coaster. It really <laughs> is. And I'm noticing more and more. I don't know if you notice this too. Are you in LA right now? I am. Yeah. I notice more and more like here in Chicago, like really if the weather's like kind of crappy, I'm not having it, man. I, it's so weird. I've, I've never been like that. I just think it's because we're just always indoors. Like that nice day actually gives us something good, you know? Absolutely. And I've been doing the like quarantine, like safety, social distance runs still. And yeah. I, on a day when it's sunny, I'm, I'm a totally different human being than it. You're, like you're like a gazelle, like jumping, like. <laughs> I know. Put on a good song. You know what I mean? What do you listen to when you run? Oh, my boyfriend made this playlist. <laughs> it's like a bunch of random, random music that I probably couldn't even name. Who's on there, babe? That's my boyfriend. Hi, boyfriend. Jason Say hi to Chicago. Derulo. Jason Derulo is on that playlist? It's the best running music. Is it that trumpet song? Yeah. Yeah. So good, Ash. I haven't heard trumpets in forever. I'm going to put that on my playlist. It's hey, a family quick, classic. We're going to hit his. Before we uh, get into getting to know you, just got to shout out our friends at Jack Daniels. Hey. Um, it's a little early there, I'm sure, for some JD. But, you know, here in Chicago, we don't, we don't what, care what time this is. What time is it in Chicago? Where are you at? Uh, so it's 12.02. It's 12.02 in the PM. Oh, so. you could take a shot. I'll drink my coffee. Yeah. Um, so, Ash, man, lots to talk to. First of all, congratulations on Moral of the Story. How does, it, how does it feel? It's your little, it's your little baby that's now it's, 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 it's blooming. It's we're at like the, it's like the, the terrible two, like the two year old stage and it's running around bumping into stuff. <laughs> the terrible two stage. That is so funny. That's exactly what it feels like. It's like this unruly child that I don't really know what to do with. Um, it's exciting. I mean, I'm still sort of catching my breath with everything that's going on, but, um, I mean, it's pretty cool. It's cool when your baby's like, everyone thinks it's pretty when you think you have a cute baby, you know what I mean? Yeah, because sometimes you have, people tell you you have a cute baby and it's not really cute, but this time it's a cute baby and for real it's cute. So I don't good. feel like people are lying this time, so it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's got, it's like, all right, forget the streams and everything. Like, that's one thing, which is an amazing feat. Congratulations on that. Dude, like, Thanks. the TikTok, the TikTok world is just, what the, like, when did that start to kind of... You, you know that me? meme with that weird little stuffed animal? That's like... Yeah. <laughs> I am constantly just... I am that, that meme. I, I don't even know fully how to use TikTok. I, I'm on there and I'm, I'm sussing it out. Me and TikTok mm -hmm. are filling each other out. But yep. it's like yep. actively changed the scope of my entire career. So I should probably give it a lot more credit <laughs> it's, just, it's like anything you just spend like you just gotta sit yourself down and spend like a day with it and then you'll be a pro or you'll be like me and try to want to be a pro and really embarrass yourself and are you a pro on no TikTok? no 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 nope. i feel like you're super lying and you make funny funny videos i i don't have any funny videos that i haven't saved because they're embarrassing at all none um <laughs> But no, that's like the big, that's like kind of like the big story, I think, out of all 2020 with everything that's going on, like this TikTok kind of like evolution has helped artists like you. Yeah, it's, it's really cool. cool. It's pretty cool. I'm, I'm down for it. I'll, I'll, I'll take the support any day. I love it. When, when did you like, did you see, was there a certain artist that talked about your song or was there just a certain specific video you saw that really just was like, oh my God. Come here, come look at this. Oh yeah, I've had a few of those moments in particular with this song. So Lizzo lip sung the song on, on TikTok and I was like, <sighs> like bl mind blown that this like perfect human knew who I was. Yeah. Like 
oh, the feeling that was pretty crazy. That day was that day was weird. Um, did you get did you get like a notification from Instagram that's like Lizzo just cover this or did or was it like somebody hit you up or did you notice it yourself? No, I swear everything that happens in my career, my fans find out first. So I really rely on them to tell me anything that's going on in my life because yeah, yeah. I think I, I started getting DMs or tweets like Lizzo just posted your song on blah, blah, blah. Or like um, the main, like the TikTok queen, Charlie D D'Amelio. Ah, don't hate me, Charlie. <laughs> um, she's like, she's like the mother of all TikTok mm -hmm. videos. And she, she did a video with moral of the story in it and, all my fans were like, you you might not know how important this is, but this is super important. Um, so yeah, that's been really cool. I love that. Yeah. Uh, and amongst one of many of the songs that you worked with Phineas on this one, right? I did, that's my guy. What do, what do we need to know about Phineas? Because like in our world, we know him as this super creative, crazy producer and obviously the Billy stuff, but like what's something that we don't know about Phineas that you learned from working with him? Whoa, such a good question. Good. Came up with myself. <laughs> I am a genius. Thank you very much. Um, shoot, I mean, I guess because I, I know him more on a personal level. We've been really close friends for like well over four years. So mm. I think maybe what people don't know is he's like um, incredibly articulate and you can like talk for just hours drinking coffee and talk about nothing or mm -hmm. philosophy or get really into it he's just like the most um eloquent he'll bring up mm -hmm. he'll have a metaphor for anything i don't know he's just wow. i mean i feel like the most of the world already knows that he's a total genius i could, i just have gotten to know the genius on a little bit deeper of a level and mm -hmm. Yeah, he's one of my favorite people in the world. That's awesome. Um, to all the boys, P.S., I still love you. Ooh. Mega, mega, mega big deal, right? Comes out on Netflix. And then kind of your world changes, right? Would you say that was the day? That was definitely the day, yeah. I mean, we went to, that was already sort of, moral of the story has always been the song in my fan base that I had. It was always the best, you know, performing or whatever, whatever tune. And, yeah. and then that, movie came out and then suddenly i think the next day we saw we had like 120,000 streams on spotify or something and we're like in a day that's crazy <laughs> and then a couple days later or like yeah. a week later we hit a million streams in one day and then a week after that it was doing two million streams in one day and we were like i i no longer have any idea what's going on in my own life and this is out of control Love so, it. Yeah. Well, like I said, we're still a baby, man. This thing is blowing up and it's just going to get bigger and bigger. Um, Thanks. So we do this thing. So like it's it's Jack Daniels, number old number seven brand. So Ooh. I'm going to ask you seven. See how I did that? I'm going to ask you seven intimate questions. Oh, this is getting, okay. This is, is it quick? Do I have to be quick? Yeah, you can take your time. Okay. You don't have to be, yeah, you don't have to be quick. I mean, media, how about medium speed? Okay. All right, I've been doing this with, with uh, these IG interviews, but this is the funny thing is, you might want to get your boyfriend for some of these. These are meant for people in a new relationship. Oh, come on, babe. Okay, ready? And you can, you can ask okay. yourselves, oh, how do you like to be cared for when you're ill? How do I like to be cared for when I'm ill? Mm, I like to be coddled. <laughs> I like to be severely Wrapped coddled. Up. Yeah, that's take, a good one. Take care of me. Wrap, yeah, wrap me up in a blanket. I don't know, babe. What do you think I need when I'm sick? You just need to watch Gilmore Girls. I need to watch Gilmore Girls, yes. Mm. Uh, I like that. Yeah, I just kind of need to, yeah, I need to be loved on extra. I'm fragile when I'm sick. Okay. Uh, question number two with Ash, which personal accomplishment are you most proud of? I mean, this is obviously moral of the story. <laughs> <laughs> Very clearly moral of the story, yep. Yes. Uh, describe how you'd spend a perfect Sunday. Honestly, let's pretend, I'm such that, a let's pretend that we're not doing it, and let's pretend it's like normal world. Well, I was going to say, honestly, I, I'm such a homebody that my, per my perfect Sunday can easily be done in quarantine. It's just mm -hmm. like 
wake up early. I don't sleep in. I'm an early, like, 5 a.m. gal. Oh, wow. And yeah. I'll wake up super early and journal and read and maybe mm. go for a run and, like, mm. maybe make some breakfast. My God, I'm such a grandma. Like, a simple, <laughs> sweet day. Maybe go for a hike. Oh, oh if I had a fireplace, we'd, like, get all cozy at night. That yeah. is perfect. You are, you are, you are, you honestly are the fifth golden girl. Um, that compliment, compliment. That was the best compliment I've ever good. received. I'm glad we're on the same page. That's Whether or not you meant do. it as a compliment. <laughs> That's another good thing to do on Sunday because I think you can find some golden girl reruns on Sunday. Oh, uh, they're on Hulu. I, they're all on Hulu. All the seasons. They? Good to yeah. know. Thank you. <laughs> You're <that>. welcome. <laughs> when do you, when do you feel the most insecure? These are deep. Oh, I feel the most insecure. Mm, probably when I release new music. Oh, really? Because you don't I mean, know how it's going to be. People are going to react. Yeah, it's the most vulnerable I've ever been with my life. And like a song with more from all the story was like right out of my own story, my life. So. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's like you're raising a child and you put it out into the world and then yeah. people like either hate or love your baby and it's very, yeah, very strange. So I'd say maybe not the most insecure, but the most vulnerable. Love most it. Yeah. That's a great answer. Uh, chatting with our girl Ash here. What's something frivolous you don't mind spending money on? A dirt bike. A, really? Yeah. You get down with a dirt bike? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love that. Was, that that was like my video? family thing when I okay. was little. We used to, I used to have dirt bikes, and I, I, I really want to get another one. That's amazing. Um, <laughs> and let's do one more question with Ash. Thanks All for right. taking the time, by the way. I love this. This is so lovely. Thank um, you for hanging out with me. Of course. That's too deep. <laughs> oh, what has been one low light of the past year for you? Low what? Low light, like instead of highlight, low light. Oh, low light. Yep. Whoa. Mm. Mm -hmm. Can I think for two seconds? I got, oh. What? Like for, for me, I'm just going to say oh. being stuck in this damn house. Like that's oh, a low. That's that a is... low. Yeah, I mean, the coronavirus is definitely a low. I think, I mean, I should have said that right away. Yeah. I would uh, say, like, uh, the pandemic? <laughs> yeah, everything that's happening currently in our world. Um, yeah. I was supposed to open up for AJR on their oh, arena tour in the yes. summer. Damn so it. that's kind of a bummer. And just not touring in general in 2020, that's a low. But yeah. I think it's going to make 2021 touring um, even more special. So I can tell you are a half glass full person. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's sure. good. You have to be. Are you? Oh, yeah. And guess what it's full of? <laughs> <'Cause> the... <laughs> it's a glass half full of Jack Daniels. <laughs> Actually, uh, I, I, I wrote this quote before. I was doing some kind of bio. Maybe it was when I was single and it was on Bumble or something. And it was like, <laughs> I'm not a half glass full person. I'm a full glass full person. Actually, it's overflowing. That's kind of the positivity that I try to bring. Because that's, it's like. Was your, that's your bio? It was. For, for when, I was swipe, <laughs> when I was swiping, what, what's, is it that, I, it's probably, there's probably no, a reason why I didn't get any swipes. Yeah, like, <laughs> it clearly didn't work. No, that's yeah. really cute. I think if I would have, if I would have swiped on you, that would have been a cute, I would have been like, whoa, he's super, super stoked on life. Big positivity vibe. Yeah. What's that? There's that saying, I'm not everyone's cup of tea, but I'm somebody's shot of whiskey or something like that. Ooh. Oh, you got one. that from you got that from Nashville when you lived in Nashville. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. That's such a Na that's such a Nashvillean thing to say. It's got to be in a country song somewhere. It's got to be. Yeah. Yeah. Not everybody's um, cup of tea or some shit. Yeah. Good. Ooh, I like <laughs> it. We're mashing things up right now. Um okay, so a couple quick questions while we have you on. Um obviously you just mentioned the tour it was supposed yeah. to be at AJR. Bummer on that. Um, did, when you did, when you were touring before, did you ever come to Chicago? Yeah, I've headlined in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Shoot, what was the place I played? 
I should have done my homework. Shuba, Gosh, subterranean. Um, uh, it was I. So my first headline tour I did last fall, and it was like a 250 to 500 cap tour, which I don't know that I'll ever get to do again. No, so you so. should cherish those those intimate moments. Yeah, I can't remember. So what's a, a small venue in Chicago? There's Sub T. Uh, yeah, there's Shubas. Was it Shubas? I think it was Shubas. Um, I'm gonna look it up. I'll DM you. Okay. Yeah, look it up. I want to know, but. <laughs> When you come back to Chicago, what's the one thing you got to do? Hang out with you. Duh. duh. This is the most duh interview ever. All the answers <laughs> are so obvious. <laughs> I think we should go go grab a drink or something. I love it. I would love that. And then we'll uh, we'll watch you perform. I can't wait to do that once again. I just can't wait to be at live music spaces in general. But oh, we're almost yeah. there. It's going to take a while. Yeah. I know. I need that. It, it's cool getting to like, I've been doing some lives and, um, you know, playing music for people virtually, but it's just not the same, like reading people's comments, God love you with, you know, this is so sweet, but like, you can't get that, you can't feel the energy of the crowd. Right. And that's like the most priceless part of, of playing live. Yeah. Well, we can't wait for that to happen. And when you do, we will definitely get a drink. Uh, it'll be a, probably a shot of Jack Daniels. Oh, ding, 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 ding. I have done a shot of Jack. D I think I've only done one shot in my entire life of Jack Daniels. I'll do it with you, though. Unac unacceptable. Unacceptable. I'll do it. All right. <laughs> witnesses. All these people that are purple, blue, and green hearting on the, on the right. You're all witnesses. Um, oh, my gosh. I didn't even think about the fact that I have witnesses. <laughs> no, just you're kidding. done. You are done, Ski. Um, thank you. Honestly, it was really cool catching up. I love your energy and your positivity. Your music's great. Keep making it for your fans. They clearly love you. There's a, a lot of OMGs coming in. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, Moral of the Story is an amazing song. So congratulations. And hopefully soon we'll see each other face to face. Thank you so much. You're so lovely. And this was awesome. And I hope, yeah, soon we'll, we'll be together and not virtually apart. I'll get to hug you and we can do a shot of Jack Daniels. L love it. Jason Derulo. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs>